So I'm going to go to jam.new. It's going to create a new Google Jamboard jam. I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to select marker because I am doing five, five features of Google Jamboard. The first feature I want to show you is that there are only 20 frames. So you notice at the very top it says one out of one. I have one frame and then I can go ahead and click this arrow and add additional frames. There's two frames, three frames, four frames, but the other thing I can do is on this rectangle icon right here, I can click on this to expand out the frame bar. So you can see my four frames that I have right now. I'm going to click this plus icon to add another frame and I can add a frame between frames. And I'm going to add a frame, add a frame, add a frame. Let's go to the right here. I've got 9, 10, 11, 12, keep going over here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and here I hit frame number 20, and you'll notice that when I hit frame 20, all of those plus icons to add a new frame are all grayed out because there is a 20 frame maximum. 20 frame maximum, switch to tweet sticky notes. 20 frame maximum. So that is my first tip is there is a 20 frame maximum that you can do in Google Jamboard. Now I have created this and I still have untitled jam. Now when I'm on a jam, I can add text boxes. I can use the text box icon right down here and I can type into the text boxes or I can add sticky notes. Now what if I don't save this jam or I just forget what I want to name it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Drive and in Google Drive, I'm going to do a search up here at the top. So what I'm going to search for is some text that I have. So I'm going to look up the Big Lebowski and you'll see, sure enough, it has shown up right down here. Here's the untitled jam that I just edited today. So even though the Big Lebowski was not in the title, it was on this sticky note and it was able to find it. So just like with Docs, Sheets, and Slides, you can go into Google Drive, you can search and find content in your jam. Now if you want, you can do type colon jam to filter this so you only see Google Jamboard jams as the option in your search. Now it's important to know that jams have layers. So I'm gonna add a sticky note, save, another sticky note, and another sticky note, I teach math. All right, so now I have three sticky notes that I have created on here, actually four, and you'll notice as I stick them on top of each other, that these are in layers, that the first note that I made is gonna be at the bottom, whereas the second note that I made is on layer two. So you can see it's behind the green and the blue, but above the original sticky note. And I'm gonna do that again, and again, make it a little larger so we can see these on here and how they are layered. Even when I click on this sticky note that's on the second layer, it stays on the second layer. So to bring this forward, I wanna click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner, three dots in the upper right hand corner and go to order so I can bring it to the front. So when I bring it to the front, you'll see it's now on top of these other sticky notes. It is on that layer. And then on this one, I'm going to order and bring it to the front and bring that right up there. Now this brings me to my fourth tip and that is that pen is always on top. So I'm gonna switch to my marker and I'm gonna color over top of my sticky notes. So you'll see that pen is over top of all of the notes. It is on 
the top layer. Now when I take these three dots and I go to order and I move it to the front, you'll see that it is still behind the pen. I'm gonna move this to the order to the front and while it's on top of the other sticky notes, it's still always behind the pen. So the pen is always my top layer. Now, one of the things that's a little difficult to manage in a jam is images. In order to add an image, you have to click the image icon and then you can drag and add images into this upload box. But actually, you can copy and paste. So I'm going to take a Bitmoji, I'm gonna right click on my Bitmoji, copy the image, and so long as I have the image copied to my clipboard, I can Control V, paste the image right on there. So let's do that again. I'm gonna come up to my Bitmoji Chrome extension. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna copy the image and paste. And you'll see these also have layers that one of them is on top of the other. And I'm going to go to order and send it to the back. And you can see now the book is on top. So I can layer the images, I just can't layer the text. The pen tool is always on the top layer.